You'll need scissors, a hole punch, split pins, thin sticks, a stapler, tape, a torch and some coloured cellophane. Print out page two. Stick it onto a piece of card or a piece of cereal packet. And then cut all the pieces out individually. You'll have four. For the head, a tip is to go round from point to point and then go back and cut out all the little triangles. Now we're going to cut out the eye. Take your hole punch and if you can, remove the bottom, turn it upside down, slide the head in so the eye lines up with the hole and punch. Now go in with your scissors and make the hole a little bit bigger. Take the cut out hole punch and place it slightly off centre and stick it down with some clear tape. Then trim off the excess tape. Now you need to make a hole at each of the white dots. In the same way with the hole punch upside down, line up the dots with the hole and punch. If you don't have a hole punch, take a sharp pencil and a bottle top. Place the piece over the bottle top and with the point of the pencil, make a hole. This way works just as well. Now join your puppet together with the split pins, separate them at the back. If you haven't got a split pin, take a piece of string and tie a very big knot, then thread it through the two holes and make another large knot on the back. Trim off the ends. And now you have a moving puppet. To make the sticks, take a piece of tape, masking tape, place the stick halfway along the tape Fold it in half, making sure there's a little tab at the end and fold the ends in. Now you want to attach one to the head and one to the tail. Line it up, make sure you don't cover the eye and staple it on. Now you have a working puppet. For the fish, make the eye in the same way. Line it up and hole punch. Make the hole bigger, take out the cut out piece of card, stick it on. Now you want to cut out these squares, fold your puppet and make a snip to get you started and then cut out the little squares. Now you want to put some colour in. Check your material with a torch and see if it makes a coloured shadow. Then cut out a piece the same size as your fish. Put some sticky tape across both the holes and then stick the tape down on the other side and trim off the edges. Line up the stick in the same way and staple it on. I've made a shadow screen from a cereal packet I've folded back into a box. I've cut out a square and stuck in a piece of paper. Take your torch, you can rest it in a roll of tape and start to play. If you're clever, you can have two puppets at the same time, having a conversation. Or you can project your shadows onto a wall or a sheet. Have fun and share your puppets with all your friends and family. <laughs>